one of the most advanced pieces of technology currently on EMTBs is quite possibly the auto shift and free shift from Shimano. We are super stoked, I think the word is, to run you guys through how it operates in the hills here around Riva del Garda. Okay, now whilst we will be focusing on auto shift and free shift, it's important to understand that both EP801, EP6 motors together with DI2 and Link Glide is an integral part of the system with its durability and smooth shifting. So without those, you cannot get the functions of auto shift and free shift in the first place. Just going to cover off a few practical things first. This is the Canyon Spectral on, which comes uh, fitted with the Shimano EP801 as stock. It's got uh, Shimano XT Di2, it's got Link Glide, so we're pretty much good to go. So I'll be honest with you, I've just picked the bike up and this bike is running as stock at the moment. I've connected to the E2 Project app on my phone which is where you can actually customize the whole auto shift and free shift settings. But like I said, I'm actually running this bike in the stock settings. There is no place for lethargic gear shifting on e-bikes. Let me give you guys a simple example of why that's the case. Now I've just come up this concrete road. All of a sudden I can see a change in slope. So I need to make three very quick snap decisions. The first one is I need to identify the degree of change in gradient. Secondly, I need to make a decision on what gear will enable me to conquer that uh, change of slope. And the third one, well, I just need to do it. Now the great thing with this Shimano system is that it's said to be able to deal with unexpected shifts and a full torque from both the drive and the rider. And I can assure you, this is an unexpected moment. Okay guys, let's uh, see how this scenario pans out in manual mode and then in full auto shift. Okay, DI2, I can see I'm in fifth gear. In dent of the slope, I know that I'm gonna have to change down to at least second or first. Let's go for second. Made the shift, didn't see that, did you? And up I go. Okay, this time I've been kind of the climb in auto shift, looking at the views, and why wouldn't I? And paying absolutely no attention to gear changing whatsoever. And then, oh heck, a change in slope. What do I do? No hand to change gear. In we go. An auto shift simply goes, boom. It just, it literally went from fourth to third to second to first to enable me to conquer that climb. It is absolutely magical. It's quite difficult to see exactly what happened there with auto shift, but I went from fourth to third to second to first Auto shift took all the decision making out of my hands because if you think about it, your hands trying to manual, sh manual shift as you're climbing a tech climb is quite tricky. So as tech goes, I guarantee you, this is very advanced. So the motors, the drivetrain, the shifting, all work in sync with auto shift and free shift. Now, what we wanna do here in Garda is demonstrate to you the new ways in which this tech will improve your ride. So, four things to consider. The ability to focus on friends, the environment and terrain instead of operating the bike. Secondly, the ability to confidently push the bike harder on descents that only comes with faith in the drivetrain. Reducing the distraction of shifting as much as possible. And also prolonging the lifespan of your components. Just you know folks, hands are off here totally. Order shift is, order shift has got my back. Just dropped into harder gear. There you go, great example. This is a technical climb. I ain't touching the shifters. All I gotta do is worry about my line choice. I'm telling you, it's bloody good tech this. Getting one-handed, I mean, this is, this is quite an extreme climb. 
maybe time now to get my hands involved so I can see what's ahead. And that's the whole point. You can focus on what's ahead. Wah! <laughs> now obviously order shift doesn't deal with rider error. But as you can see, that's a pretty vicious piece of trail behind me. But all the way up that trail, super tech single track, he was making the decisions as I was climbing. Okay, let's have a look at both free shift and auto shift in detail. Now, free shift can provide new benefits beyond faster shifting when used on an e-bike. Free shift gives a clear benefit to mountain bikers by allowing to shift whilst coasting. Now, this can be controlled either manually or automatically. What it does, it allows riders to focus purely on the trail and to pedal out of every corner in the right gear. Well, here we go, switch back. Here's the moment of truth. Perfect. Sometimes there's a danger of being in too, too hard a gear for switchbacks. It's bang on. Remember, this also means you can change gear when coasting along flats or hammering downhill, as the front chainring is synced with the rear derailleur. It means you can keep your pedals level and change gear in techie sections. So ultimately, when you start pedaling again, you know for sure you're in the right gear. What I really like about DI2 is that when you've got a second, you can see what gear you're in, but I'm hoping that there's gonna be a break of slope somewhere down here, and I guarantee you it'll be one that I don't know about. Oh, there you go, there you go. So this could be classic order shift moment. Okay, what you're gonna bear in mind is that changing gear manually on a climb like this, nigh on impossible. Yes! Oh, <laughs> so happy. And then I can hear it changing up again. Oh, you can just maintain your speed, you can maintain your flow. Oh man! And then it goes up again. Woo! Auto shift really is the goal. Now, automatic shifting while pedaling is a complicated algorithm because MTB is so dynamic. Shimano, though, have managed to simplify the setup process into two main settings, shift timing and climbing response. It starts with an ideal cadence and brackets it with a range on either side. The cadence range is shifted up or down depending on sensor information describing the trail conditions, cadence sensor, speed sensor, and torque sensor. Now, different shift decisions are made for pavement and MTB mode too. Again, what are the implications of that on the trail? Well, it very much depends on the trail you ride. We've seen already that it offers a performance advantage in extremely technical climbing. But more than this, in situations where you are constantly rising and falling with the terrain, auto shift will give you more freedom than ever before to focus on flow, line choice, and momentum. Secondly, for newcomers to EMTB, it will allow them to learn just how the optimum cadence delivers the best performance from the motor without any need to second guess the correct gear. And thirdly, the ability to fine tune your shifting through the app, depending on the terrain as you ride. All free shift order shift bikes come complete with Link Live drivetrain, said to be 300% more durable than Hyperglide. Now this is what we need with EMTB components, durability, due to the increased usage that EMTBs get. The basic operation of auto shift and free shift is incredibly simple. You've got three uh, custom profiles, manual, A1 and A2. So what do those mean? Manual means just that, it's manual all the time. A1 uh, gives you automatic shifting all the time. And A2, automatic shifting only whilst coasting and manual whilst pedaling. So you can go through the different profiles very easily. There's a little button on your shifter there. So you go from there to there, easy to access. You've got the display which shows you M, A1 or A2. It is that simple. Well, those are the basic functions. The fine tuning options with this system are even more remarkable. I think it's fair to say that Shimano have provided us with arguably 
the biggest jump in technology in mountain biking in over 20 years. I'm pretty mind blown.